What's going on guys? This is JTesus here. I wanted to update you guys on some Diablo Immortal drama that we have had on server Town Portal with becoming the actual Immortal, right? So as you guys know, Diablo Immortal brings a lot of drama to pretty much all servers and to be honest with you, I'm not a big drama person. If anybody comes in my guild and starts drama, they immediately get removed. That's just kind of how I roll and also... You know, the guild leaders that we currently have in place don't deal with any drama as well, right? You never want drama in your guild. Well, about however long ago, ago it was, when we were the last immortal, the fourth week in, the other, basically the rank two clan on the server, we're going to call them rank two because, of course, we're going to call ourselves rank one because why not, right? So the rank two clan came to our Discord server, their clan leader, and specifically their name was Chaos Theory, right? They came to our Discord server. They said, hey, JT, leadership. I wanted to talk to you guys and basically work out a deal to where, you know what? Whenever you guys fight us in the Immortal Fight, the Rite of Exile, the 8 verse 8, how about instead of making it boring and sending weak teams against us, how about you guys send y'all strongest guys and we fight head to head and just have fun with it? You know, we all talked back. We sat back and we're like, well, you know, that might not be the smartest decision to continue with our reign however it seems like the most fun right and it seemed like the right thing to do right why would a bunch of 6,000 residence players want to go in and fight a weak clan for that matter right why not fight the best so we we're like all right you know what we'll give you guys a fair fight so we did that right we set up our teams the fight was completely fair we went into the battle and we got absolutely roasted we didn't even stand a chance in that fight and one of the reasons why well we stood a chance honestly we played bad for one and not only did we play bad they also were getting health potions every time one of us died right which made it super hard to beat as a freaking immortal whenever shadows are getting health potions in the right of exile right and so that made it relatively tough so we ended up losing and they got immortal right Okay, well now fast forward to about the fourth week or third week in when we come to fight them for the 8v8. The first week we fight them, guess what? They send a super weak team against us and we basically just roll over them and they basically threw the match, right? And put their strong teams against other players. That way they could win and extend their reign, which all in all is the correct decision to do if you want to extend your reign, right? All right, well, let's go to the next week. The next week, we have a Rite of Exile fight. We go up to fight against these guys. They send zero players against our clan. So it's like, all right, you guys asked us to basically fight you guys in a fair fight. And then the next time you're in rain, you send zero players to fight us. So we're like, that's kind of crazy. What'd you guys do that for? That's no fun for anybody, right? All right, well then the next week comes around. Guess what happens? They send zero players to fight us again. So now we're like, yo, these guys are just trolling us at this point. That is a completely bogus decision to make to freaking ask us to fight you fair and then send us fighting against zero players two weeks in a row so we're thinking we're like man how can we get back to these guys like what can we do to basically you know because if we take over rain you know we're all competitors in the guild one time there's literally not a time where we want to fight against the best right we want to fight against the best we want to send our best players against their best players that's just kind of how we roll so i'm like well how can we get back at these guys and the way that we have come up with to actually get back at them, they are the current Immortals as of right now. So tomorrow, there, there are a lot of good Shadow Clans on Server Town Portal. However, we are by far the best Shadow Clan as of right now that is Shadow, right? The three other best clans on our server are the current Immortals, right? So there's three top clans that are all holding the current Immortal reign. Well, we're like, you know what we're going to actually do? We are going to throw our immortal fight tomorrow. So basically what's going to happen is, is I'm going to go into the immortal fight. We're going to win the eight on eight right of exile against whoever they throw up against us. And then after that, we are going to win the three V three fight. However, we're not going to all the way win. We're going to leave one other clan alive and basically just die to them, allow them to take over the immortal reign. So basically that's us throwing the immortal reign and then we're going to allow them to pick whoever Whoever they want to bring into the immortals and the reason why we wanted to do this is because honestly it's good for server health at least that's how i thought you know what i mean it's like well if we do this we can allow three clans that have never been immortals ever 
to become immortals on the server, which would be extremely badass. The whole immortal experience is super fun, right? And not only that, the next time, three weeks later, when we go to take over their immortal, we will be fighting against the clans that was fighting us with zero players. Obviously, they were scared to fight, right? So it's like, well, if you boys are scared to fight us, we're going to fight y'all somehow, some way. So it's going to be an extremely fun fight three weeks from now because when we go into the 3v3v3 fight, we can legit hold them back now from being the immortals, right? And then they have to wait a whole nother three weeks. So it's the same way of trolling them, but in a different, more fun fighting way, which I think is going to be a lot more fun. So if you guys want to watch that, or if you guys want to get into insanely fun server competition, make sure you guys join. If you guys look up in the top of my screen, it is Server Town Portal. It is an East Coast server. We would like to recruit as many players as possible to come to this server when server transfers are available, because like I said, it's an insanely active server, and just a lot of fun all in all. Tons of good clans, and I know you guys would have a good time especially if you don't have what you want on your server or if you're just a whale out there that wants to come over and be a part of a big whale server feel free to join server town portal as well so I know you guys are out there wondering a lot of people send me messages all the day all the time they're like JT you spent a hundred thousand dollars you're not even the immortal it's like bro that's not how this game works. However, we are specifically throwing the Immortal on Sunday. And that's going to be all in all fun as well. Because not only are we going to throw the Immortal, we're now going to be Shadows with those other three clans. And it seems like it's going to be quite a bit of fun in my opinion. So a lot of spicy things are going to shake up on Server Town Portal. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And if you are a part of the new immortals that are going to be taken up on Town Portal, man, enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. The whole immortal experience is a ton of fun. And I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas. Oh, the reason why I called myself JTesus is because I'm saving the server. I'm the server's savior. We will no longer have to deal with throne fights. What kind of tra what kind of guild chaos theory? You really want to fight a bunch of low res players when you're high res? You're going to throw the fights against us, bro? Really? That's what y'all's choice is? We see you guys out there. We'll see y'all on the battlefield in the 3v3 fight. Let's go.